Governor Mark Dayton says he's presenting a middle ground on a transportation funding plan, but that it's up to Republicans to meet him halfway. The Democratic governor presented two proposals Monday to Democratic Senate Majority Leader Tom Bach and Republican House Speaker Kurt Dowd. Both would raise $600 million annually for the entire state, but one includes a five-cent gas tax increase, while the other relies heavily on increasing license tab fees. We have the House position all their way, the Senate position all their way for the last nine weeks. They've been that far apart, and I haven't seen any movement. This is an attempt to bring us to the middle and to get something accomplished that's a real solution, real money, sufficient money to, to move Minnesota forward, and uh, the people of Minnesota are waiting to see whether they're willing to stand up and get it done, or whether they can go back home and say, no, we, we, we wouldn't, we wouldn't, uh, you know, we wouldn't uh, give, it, give, it, give an inch, so uh, we get nothing for it. You're literally doubling uh, the amount that some people are paying for their uh, license tabs. Um, you know, I think we might be willing to discuss a small amount, but um, it, it's tough to, to say you're going to double the amount that people are paying for their license tabs and, and not feel like there's going to be some pushback from the public. So um, obviously Minnesotans are going to wonder, you have a $900 million surplus, why aren't you using that to fund the roads and bridges? And that's a very good question. I think that's the question um, that, that needs to be answered. Uh, we are proposing to, to fund $600 million into road and bridge infrastructure over the next 10 years and do it without raising a penny of new taxes. Dayton says if House Republicans aren't willing to compromise this week, there won't be a transportation bill. The legislature passed its two-year budget last year and isn't legally obligated to pass anything this year. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.